recording. I live! I live! All right, so, hey guys, uh, sorry about the delay. I've been sick for the last couple weeks. I'm finally over it, if you can hear it in my voice. All right, so we're gonna get through Arcadia today. Hopefully. <laughs> we pray. Hello to Ultimate Paragon. All right. God, Andrew Ryan needs to get a life. I mean, let's be honest, everyone here needs to get a life. This is also true. Hello to Arpeggio. Yeah, if you'll notice, we picked up liquid nitrogen. That's going to come in handy later. Wait, but I know we had the ability to, like, Cryo free stuff. What do you mean? Like, what isn't one of the plasmas like you get to freeze shit? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not not this one particularly, but plasmids. That is that is the plasmid that makes you freeze everything. Oh, never mind. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, dead body. Tells me it's a side effect of this plasmid business. One poor shot's memory is getting passed on to another through genetic sampling. Links. Lunatics. Rebellion. Now, bleeding ghosts. Ain't life in Rancher Grand. Okay. Uh, do you well, do you want to talk now to we can see ghosts. Yep, but well, we've been seeing ghosts, so that's actually the third ghost we've seen in the game. Ah, right. But yeah, do you want to talk about why it's impossible for genetics to pass on ghost memories? It, for one thing, pa okay, so... In terms of genetics, there is such a thing as passing on, like, trauma, but generational trauma is necessarily a genetic thing, it's more of a social thing. It's not really something you can pass on through genetics, just because... Let's just say that it's... That the way that you present your phenotype Namely, what people can see, what you're expressing, is different from what's actually in your genes. Because there is a lot of stuff in your genetic code that might not ever necessarily get transcribed. Hello, I think that might be the best way to put it. Definitely, you cannot see ghost memories. It is not a thing. Despite how... Uh... T-F-E-E. -E. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's not bring T-F-E-E into this. This is bad enough. That is true. T-F-E... Although, arguably, this is less bad. Yes. <clears throat> We're just mercy killing all the splicers by setting them on fire. The Houdini splicers, they can just teleport. teleport. Yes. 
So, how come you don't have teleportation powers? Presumably because I haven't drank that plasmid. Hmm. Too bad Jack's never ever going to become a splicer himself. Today, Arcadia was closed off to all but paying customers. The man hires me to build a forest at the bottom of the ocean and then turns a walk in the woods into a luxury. Riot asked, should a farmer not be able to sell his food? Is a potter not entitled to a profit from his pots? Oh, I started to argue with the man and then I remembered who signed my checks. Only thing worse than a hypocrite is an unemployed one. I mean... That's why we destroyed capitalism. <laughs> Always wonderful. Everything's ready. Flowers, bottle of wine, even two tickets to the tea garden. Nothing gets the Bettys in the mood like nighttime in Arcadia. Now I just gotta stop by the thrifty care to pick up a med hypo, just to be safe. Word is, this ain't Angelina's first visit to the tea garden. I'm not touching wow. it. Wow. I'm not touching it. <laughs> and another audio diary. There's a lot of audio diaries. Mm -hmm. a success. The slugs alone could not provide enough atom for serious work, but combined with the host, now we have something. The slug is embedded in the lining of the host's stomach, and after the host feeds, we induce regurgitation. And then we have 20, 30 times yield of usable atom. The problem now is the shortage of hosts. Fontaine says patience is on the boat. Soon, the first sisters will open, and that problem will be solved. Make it stop! I mean, if you're just going to run to the fire, I have no problems with that. We very highly encourage you to run into the fire. Because you know how you when you take pictures, it gives you like a grade rating or something? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's because the grade rating is, um, is how, it's sort of a measurement of how many levels you've gotten it as far as research. Ah. Uh. Have you considered possibly just luring all the splicers to walk through fire? That would be, uh, fun, but inconvenient. Darn. And I'd actually like to finish sometime tonight so we don't have to do a lot to transcribe. <laughs> True. Unless you want to help me transcribe, like, four plus hours and stuff. I mean... It would probably be easier this time, assuming that the... Game isn't louder than my voice.
More Eve. Potato chips. I don't know when potato chips were. Potato chips are old enough that they sh they can probably be around any time. So. I mean, it depends if they've been opened or not, too. That's where I was down before. <coughs> Good to know. May as well switch to the machine gun so I can run down some of this. Ah, I'm naked. do with an empty hypo? Um, fill it with Eve. Ah. Uh, uh. <coughs> Granted, that means that we're needle sharing. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Oh. Yeah, you are. But also, this is 1960, so it's not so you're gonna get HIV and AIDS. Because the AIDS crisis wasn't until the 80s. And that's what happens when someone tries to use a hacked uh, healing machine. They poison themselves to death? Basically, yeah. And that's helpful. Alright. Uh, anything else I need over here? No. Anti-personnel rounds, at least. Low hmm. this. That's good. Mm -hmm. Granted, what I really would like to make is some armor pierces. There we go. So, a Rosie is one class of the big daddies, right? Right. Okay. Again, this game is we don't want to who is going to choose to harvest the little sister unless they were either sadistic little misogynistic assholes or they're completionists? when you might have shown your cruelty. I'm sending something your way to demonstrate our thanks. Okay. 
okay. Time for a nap, sweet angel. Don't have enough Eve to make or Adam to get a new uh, plasma slot. Damn it! Still don't want enrage. We'll get Eve soon. Vending expert. symbols are going to be everywhere, but I don't know if they actually mean anything. Hmm. There are a bunch of... There are a bunch of, um, zodiac symbols. <laughs> I know that much. I'm not sure if they're using alch alchemy, too. I mean... For all we know, the developers think that genetics is literally alchemy. Well, no, it has the specific thing that we're uh, on. <coughs> there's a um, basically plasmid cultists in this area, uh -huh. and so those okay. are, they're the ones leaving the symbols behind. And they're uh, Julie Langford and the, from the Audio Diaries is going to totally make fun of them for it, and I love her for it. So. But yeah, that's who's leaving these symbols behind because this is sort of their area. Ah, so sort of like graffiti. Yeah. Thank you for your contribution to my bank account. And I hear... Roland Hills is over yonder. And the Bathosphere station is as well. The question is, do we really want to go to the Bathy Spear? Well, Bathy Spear is the only way to Ryan, so... I know, but... On the surface, I once bought a forest. The parasites claimed that the land belonged to God and demanded that I establish a public park there. Why? So the rebel could stand slack-jawed under the canopy and pretend that it was paradise earned. When Congress moved to nationalize my forest, I burnt it to the ground. God did not plant the seeds of this Arcadia. I did. Not this one you didn't. Uh, Ultimate Paragon notes, of course, if I recall correctly, historical alchemy wasn't all that similar to how it's often portrayed in fiction. And that is true. A lot of, um... <coughs> a lot of fiction portrays alchemy as basically, um, magic, when it was really more like chemistry. This chemistry. Well, chemistry before chemistry became a day. Right. But alchemy is literally the the base of the word chemistry for that matter you know so it's like it's it's the base of, it's actually a lot where our, our discoveries came from a lot of our early discoveries mm -hmm. they weren't necessarily based on like science particularly but on alchemy mm. and mostly because people were trying to figure out how to turn lead into gold 
or how to become immortal. That's two. Which is where we get the Philosopher's Stone from. Mm -hmm. Or Sorcerer's Stone if you're from America. I mean, we are from America, but that was the alchemy. But the Philosopher's Stone was the actual term they used. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I'm making fun of the American localization of uh, Harry Potter. Yeah, that was dumb. Hello, you're right there. you shouldn't have because your little girl ended up getting kidnapped and you guys killed yourselves but and she got turned to uh a little sister Adam factory yep I almost said like Adam baby making factory no 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 exactly So, very slow death. Yeah. To spite the hypothetical lib. I know Jack is not a lib. Basically, yeah. Not even because he's a lib, it's because he's, try he's trying to get... Ryan knows that they're trying to kill him. He won't yeah. die out of spite. Yeah. And so this is technically self-defense, I guess, but it's a really incredibly Dumb. stupid version of Yeah.
need to find a place to buy meds at, but I can't seem to find one. Couldn't you, you just eat the chips to increase your health? What? Like, I know that you have- there are consumables that can increase health. Oh, thank god. First aid kit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bless. <coughs> and I'm still really not sure what you're talking about. Hmm. Never mind. Do you mean recover health? Yes! Those are used instantly. Ah. So, like, if you pick up booze, it's automatically you automatically used. use yep. it. God okay. damn it! The little sister's not around. Fuck. That's not fair. Oh well, whatever. We're gonna kill you. Yes, that's very dramatic. You question my they dress up in leaves and call themselves the Saturnine. Please. They drink human blood and chant, Harness the flame, harness the mist, and believe they're touched by the ancient god. <laughs> An aging bunch of frat boys tilting back goblets of plasmids and calling it Ambrosia. God, you are drunk. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go talk to Julie Langford. Maybe she'll have some more work and buy stuff stuff at. My trees! It wasn't you, was it? No. Brian. I think I've got a way to save the trees. It's a genetic vector that... Oh, look who I'm talking to. Could you find a sample of Rosa Gallica for me? Look in the grotto. So now you have to find a rose. trace our way back to find that damn rose. I mean, we are- technically, we already went back. Damn it! Stupid splicers. Why well, must okay. they get in my way? I mean, okay. I know the splicers are supposed to be mindless automatrons, and it's technically not really their fault. But also, it is their fault. <laughs> because they got themselves addicted to Adam in the first place. You 
can I find a health station? Question is, how are you gonna get there without dying? Pretty much, though. Uh, as long as I'm very, very careful and <laughs> hack all the thing. As long as I'm careful and I manage to hack everything, I should be fine. Yeah. Besides, it's not getting out. That's pro it's getting uh, not getting in. That's the problem. It's getting out again. Game just really wants to kill you. Yeah. to regulate this plasmid business. There have been side effects, blindness, insanity, death. But what use is our ideology if it is not tested? The market does not respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. The market is patient, and we must be too. Andrew Ryan's a goddamn idiot. Also, the market does respond like an infant, shrieking at the first sign of displeasure. Where do you think the stock market hysteria co comes from? Alright, and another audio diary. Yes, 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 I know about the lockdown. It's absurd. Just give me a minute. The first test is very promising. If the Rosa Gallica blue, then by God, I know we're in business. Hurry, the lockdown! Hmm? All right, I'm leaving. But somebody has to find a way to come back to check on these samples. They're very important. Hey, I'm not here now. Stop wasting my time. Everything, everything. <laughs> I promise to do no harm. You, and I won't work for long. It's a standard procedure! So our new genetic vector will bring plants back from the dead. Basically, yeah. The artery! I don't want to
audio diary. I couldn't believe how much things have changed since I left Dr. Simon's office. It's like I don't even recognize Rapture no more. I hear they've been rounding out people in Paula Square. I asked Ryan how could he do such things to innocence. He said, innocence. They haven't chosen to defend Rapture, they've chosen to side with Atlas and his bandits. So there are no innocents. There are heroes, and there are criminals. Well, those are better. Those were the, the whole time, and I just missed it, didn't I? Fuck. Uh. Well, now you have them, so... Well, at least I have some... I hear you! Wait, a frag grenade? You know what the bad thing is? I saw a frag grenade and I thought it said frog. No, that would be if this was a Legend of Zelda game. Darn. Which admittedly would be very cool, but not this time. chlorophyll solution for? Uh, that'll be for the, um... It'll be for stuff we make later. Oh. Well, at least we're not gonna drink it. You brought the Rosa Gallica? What are you waiting for? An engraved invitation? Send it for the new boat.
course, gotta hack our way into it because we don't want to pay that much for our first day kids. I'm not giving more money to Ryan. Exactly! Fuck that guy! There we go, okay. Although, technically, it's already his money. <laughs> yes, okay, so. <coughs> Anti personnel round, yes. Damn it, that means we can't get the auto rounds. Shit. Oh well. And pick up the electric bell. Also, let's hack this thing too. If you freeze the thing, well, we can't probably probably can't use it for this one, but it's possible to freeze the thing, and it'll slow down the machinery for hacking. Hmm. There we go. We're just have more time. Yep. Let's see. Good for that one. And yeah, so I I did pick up winch lurker or wrench lurker, not winch lurker. Um, it uh helps people not notice you and that was uh, it was actually sitting out in front uh, when we were in the uh, fishing area and I just completely missed it ha huh. yeah there was another one I missed before too um, in the room with the people that you know they killed themselves after their daughter uh, turned into uh, a little sister yeah, yeah if you stay in the room behind the poster there is a uh, security thing, if I recall correctly, a security gene tonic. Huh. And that's Julie Langford in there. Julie, we made a business. Except she's probably gonna die. Yes. Money changed hands. Let me read to you from the agreement. Section 3, subsection 4. Mr. Ryan. Ryan Industries maintains exclusive rights to the creation, use, and exploitation of the Lazarus vector. <coughs> Ownership is civilization. Wait, no. Give it up to Julie, though, even when she's dying, she still put up, pulled up that uh, code. There, Atlas. All right, and we got another audio tape. I've been killing trees for 25 years at Berkeley back in the 20s on the Japs in Jima, but I never brought one back from the grave before. I did, Becky. Mama's gonna build her first damn Franken tree. I'm gonna call my little creation the Lazarus Vector. <laughs> Maybe it'll bring the old gal's career back from the dead as well. <laughs> Alright, and here is Chemical Thrower. It throws things like napalm, liquid nitrogen, and electric gel, which is super, super effective and stun locks, um, stun locks big daddies. Ooh. Yes, very nice. One more 
audio tape. What's the point of being a damn genius if the only ones around to appreciate it are a bunch of spliced up morons? I've cracked the vector, or at least I'm 99% certain I have. I just need a bud of Rosa Gallica to confirm my analysis. Distilled water, a bit of chlorophyll, and enzymes extracted from Apis mellifera. That's right, sweetheart. Honeybee spit. Alright, so since, uh... Ryan took over the... Well, since he killed Julie, he's basically taken over this whole area. So now we actually have to hack our way through. Hmm. And we didn't use two before. Right, we just passed right through. relatively a friendly NPC, but now Ryan's taking over her area, so. Yeah. So we don't have to rehack the things I already I already hacked earlier though, so there is that. Oh was a nice thing. You got drunk again? <coughs> no, the stupid Houdini Spicer killed me. Ah. Uh, stupid fucking Spicer. There, now you're dead. Also, give me your shit. What kind of farmer's market would you have underground? Uh, one, well, it's where everyone, where the farmers sell all their um, crops and shit. So what, Ryan just happened to recruit the best farmer of all farmers? The best farmers, but yes, apparently. Are you seriously looking for logic here? Yes. Anyway, new audio diary. Now I'm a woman of science, but I'm also a woman who's not afraid of turning a buck or two. Ryan said if I could boost profits in Arcadia, part of the app would ride on my hip. 
So I get to thinking, we're paying for oxygen when we got photosynthesizing trees. Hell, we can even sell the extra to the rest of the city and undercut the other guys. Ryan would like that for sure. Fontaine's people have moved into the O2 biz, tooth and claw. and canisters but they're typically for either medical or for research purposes they're not like a basic utility that you have to buy in order to live it's even worse than like not having water because if you don't have oxygen you're gonna die like in less than an hour. <laughs> Actually, it probably would be way sooner than that. I'm just saying less than an hour because I know that if you are gonna die of dehydration, it takes like a day or something. Or, or no, like three days. It takes three days for you to die of dehydration. It takes a couple weeks to die of starvation. That is the worst, um, thought. So, what exactly was the problem? That they're the charging money for it, or...? The problem is, what the fuck is the oxygen business when oxygen just floats around in the air? You can't really control it. Just like, all those thugs. like, do they have rapture? Literally a vacuum or something. This is stupid. Like, like you know how air is a fluid, right? Yeah. Air is a fluid, and it basically wants to fill every container it can. Right. You can't just isolate oxygen into Arcadia and prevent it from moving over to the rest of Raptor. The way that it seems to be implying that they're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, because like vault, like air molecules generally tend to want to move around. Ready to get mad? What? More you mad? You mean more mad than we already are? Yeah. Okay. Don't make something like me. I look at genes all day long, and never do I see the blueprints of sin. I could blame the Germans, but in truth, I did not find tormentors in the prison. Kindred spirits. These children I brutalized have awoken something inside that for most is beautiful and is natural. But in me is an abomination. I'm going to kill the developers. Imagine me cackling right now. 
I will imagine you cackling and coughing at the same time. Fair enough. But yeah, so, uh, maternal instincts, because all women have that, right? Also, totally normal for an autistic Jewish woman to see the fucking Nazis as kindred spirits. Breathe. Totally normal! Totally something! That someone who was victimized by the fucking Nazis would say. If I come out one more time and find you lolling out there amongst my hives, I'm grabbing my shotgun. Answer your question. Yes, my days in beekeeping school are a blur, but I do seem to remember something about that enzyme you keep blabbing on about. <laughs> So are we going to end up making the Lazarus Spectre ourselves? Yeah, that's what we're gathering ingredients for now. Mmm. Because you know- So it's really all we need- Yeah. And now all you, you really need is bee spit. No. We don't need bee spit? No, that's not the only thing we need. Ah. Well, the still water is the other thing, right? Huh? That's the what we need. That's, that's what we need. We need seven enzyme, sam enzyme samples and seven distilled water. To vent it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All the booze. Yep. Audio diary. Children. With their very long Are we gonna murder Danes? Fontaine's is on it. 
We all pull it and are pulled by it. Yes, these children are an abomination. But it is not my hand alone on the chain that created them. No. Their little fingers were right there next to mine. So? That doesn't magically absolve you of guilt. Oh, so many hacking things for me. More hacking things for me. And damn it. About security, about security. You can't loot the bodies once you've destroyed them. Yeah, it's very annoying. And another audio diary. On my walk today, I had my first encounter with a pair of them. He, a lumbering Toluca in a foul smelling diving suit, and she, an unwashed moppet in a filthy pink smock. Her pallor was off, green and morbid. It was a rather unpleasant aspect to her demeanor, as if she were in an altogether different place than the rest of us. I understand the need for such creatures. I just wish they could make them more presentable. And another one. One of the children came and sat in my lap. I push her off. I shot, get away from me. I can oh. see the Adam oozing out of the corner of her mouth. It's thick and green. Her filthy hair hanging in her face, dirty clothes. <laughs> A dead glow in her eye. I feel hatred, like I never felt before in my chest. See, like you were saying, we were saying in the uh, the write up for the first part of this um, LP, um, Tenenbaum wanting to save the little girl, the little sisters, isn't. It didn't have to be as misogynistic as they wound up playing it as. The little sisters orphanage in troubled times. Give your little girl the light. Especially with uh, how they they have it so. She was a former victim of their survivor, rather, of uh, Auschwitz. And who also <coughs> voluntarily tortured other children. Yeah, well, see, like you were saying with your uh, suggestion, they didn't have to make it that way. They could have yeah. had it that they, he, she was forced to do it to survive, and she had a lot of guilt from doing it. But no! It just had to be misogynistic, racist shit. Misogynistic, racist, and um, sexist while we're at it. Yeah. Just all the isms. Yes. Can... All the isms. Hi, Mr. B. Is this what you want? Yeah! Yeah! 
so sad that we don't actually have frog grenades in this game. Okay, I kind of love this little sister's reaction is wee! <laughs> when Rosie tosses him. <laughs> Rosie tosses her. That, I, that, that actually is kind of hilarious and cute. I mean... They made it so that, like, the little sisters, they actually, like, Hallucinate the whole time. They do. To make it more palatable. They do. <laughs> like, it's brought up in, um. In 2, which I may or may not play. Definitely after we play by uh, Infinite, though, because it's not technically can canon, but. Um. Basically, the uh, the little sisters uh, are hallucinating everything that happens around them, so that they see like dead people as angels or blood spatter as roses. It's like creepy and misogynistic and really infantilizing. Well, these are actual infants. Less bothered by that. Yeah, I'm not as bothered as infantilization as I am by just sexism. Thank you. Thank you. I gotta carefully not walk into those things. <coughs> All right. So every time that a little sister is caught and about to be saved, she starts having- her eyes start glowing like a goddamn jack-o'-lantern. I mean, technically, really her eyes are glowing the whole time, so... Yeah, but it's even creepier when she's just... In your arms, struggling, trying to get out, and you're forcing her to consume something. Well, you're not. She's not consuming anything. You're passing a hand over her head to remove the conditioning. And somehow removing the slug. No, she still has a slug in her. Oh, wait, really? Yes. So all we're doing is making her realize that this shit is creepy. Yes. Well, that's that's got to suck. Yeah, no kidding. All right, anything else I can pick up over here? Uh, no, I'm good. Question. Yeah. You know how like little sisters they have syringes that they fill with blood so that they feed it to their snails inside their stomachs and produce more atom? Well, kind of they're removing the atom straight from you so that they can give it to the uh, big daddies. Okay. Because the big daddies also run off atom. Hmm. Well, I'm just- I was just thinking, if you rescue a little sister, but she still has a slug in her, how does she manage to get enough nutrients for the good ending to happen? <coughs> uh, audio diary, hang on. In ten years, in this dump. I've come to accept a very low standard of life, but even at the bottom of this fish tank, a man must have standards. The Patagé Trudeau, down at Morley Winery, has started putting water to his terrible wine. Water! When I confront him with this fatty, he tells me, Pierre, this is not to worry. The, the water, she is distilled. 
Wine mixed with ocean water. That would be uh, poisonous. But he's adding distilled, he's watering down his wine with, he's like, oh, it's distilled water, it's fine. It's like, you're still watering down your wine, you asshole. I think people are probably gonna notice that it doesn't get them as drunk as they expect. I mean, they may just chalk it up to uh, sh everything being shit and rapture. Yeah, but... Again, one of the reasons that Fontaine was able to uh, get his smuggling business underway is because stuff in Rapture isn't as good as stuff in, uh, in the real world. Except this, uh, Adam plasmid thing. Yeah, basically. <coughs> But he was importing real beef, he was importing Kentucky whiskey, he was importing a bunch of other booze. Presumably non-adulterated booze. We don't know that! Audio diary. The children in Buster are made functional to the effect of producers of Adam. I had hoped we placed them into vegetative states so they would be more pliable. I find being around them very uncomfortable. How has Jack not died from alcohol poisoning? Magic? It's as good an explanation as any. Damn it! I'm not wrong, am I? No.
Apparently, he's just getting himself wasted. I mean, yeah. Do you have anything better to do down here? I mean... Besides saving little sisters. He could destroy Rapture? I mean, technically we are. We just have to get to the main controls first. Hmm. <coughs> you're not Hello to Scaly Dragon. Oh, hello. Oh. Goodbye. Hello again. have all the distilled water I need, but I need to use, I'm gonna need distilled water for more stuff to uh, create later, so I may as well just pick up as much as I can. Oh. So basically you're hoarding. Yes. In true video gamer fashion. Video games where hoarding, obsessiveness, and murder are acceptable. Yep. Not even wrong. Alright, that's the card. Card to people who I used already. And here's that little area I was looking at. To be fair, it is rapture wine. There you almost shoot you in the back. Well then he did set me on fire and kill me, so You could have too bad you Maybe you should just set them on fire as revenge. They're uh, if 
they got flame resistance. Damn! Because they are assholes. Ready to get mad again? Out of my face! You mean more mad or yes. Because it's time to pick up the insect swarm. Oh god. Unleash insects against groups of enemies. Attack lots of enemies at the same time. Like literal bees. Yes. Why? Uh, let's see. Audio diary. Adam acts like a benign cancer, destroying native cells and replacing them with unstable stem versions. While this very instability yes, is what gives it its amazing properties, it is also what causes the cosmetic and mental damage. You need more and more Adam just to keep back the tide. From a medical standpoint, this is catastrophic. From a business standpoint, well, contains is the possibility. Tell me the fruit of thy basket. Who have you spoiled? In the olden days, people thought that spontaneous generation was a Dane. Yeah. I think that's what this plasmid is. It makes. There's nothing good about any of this part, is there? I mean, next part's gonna be worse, but. How many days do you think we're going to have to, uh, verbally murder? <laughs> Remember what you said about, um, how it's really good that there's no gay characters in this game because they'd be murdered? You, you think I can't get to you? No! God, no! You're welcome. I HATE THIS GAME! Dragon says, so you can sting people a lot of times. Yep, that's basically what the insect swarm does. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's literally a spontaneous generation in plasma form. 
because this game is that stupid. Yeah. Also because if you use bees, they're gonna die if you sting them once. You know? Well, it depends on what kind, but yeah. Well, from the description, it looks like honeybees. Yep. Well, it is honeybees, but it depends. Sometimes there are honey. There are some varieties of honeybees that don't die after being after stinging once. So. But the honeybees we're taking off probably do. Probably. It's Apis mellifera. I think that's the common honeybee. Yeah, I think so too. Or Apis mellifera, however the hell you want to pronounce it. Stance, stance. I know there is a freezer room around here somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Yeah, it's the uh, European honeybee. If we were to modify the I looked it up. Commercial plasmid line as you propose to have them make the use It's also the most common honeybee variables. like in the world. Would we not be able to effectively control the actions of the citizens of Rapture? Free will is the cornerstone of this city. Both of sacrificing it is a However, we are indeed in a time of war. If Atlas and his bandits have their way, will they not turn us into slaves? And what will become a free will then? Desperate times call for desperate measures. So yeah, basically, uh, Andrew Ryan, uh, you know, abhors the idea of... <coughs> of uh, co-opting people's free will, but, you know, if it's an emergency, then that's totally different. It's totally fine. Alright. Uh, Scaly Dragon says, these are special bees. We don't care. Also, they gave us a genesis. Well, the scientific name of the bees that are being referenced. Genus. Genus. Whatever. Genus and species. Yep. Like. If they don't establish that they genetically modified the bees somehow. I'm sorry. <laughs> One more little sister I have to save in this area. And I also need to figure out where the fuck am I. Well, we already know that you're in Arcadia somewhere. Yeah, we're back in Arcadia. I just can't remember where in Arcadia we are. Hmm. Did we get all the auto diaries in this area too? There's one auto di audio diary we need to pick up too. Um, <laughs> God damn it!
Super Houdini splicers. Who's <coughs> running when I'm trying to kill you, damn it? I'm surprised that you haven't died from lack of oxygen yet. Magic. And splicer is an, a smart splicer is an oxymoron. You might hear things about me, see my name about, think what you will. There was a time I cared about politics, but it's just an excuse men use to kill one another. I'm done with all that. I just want to see the sunlight again. Anyway, crawl space was the last place I wanted to check. We got everything? I think so. Uh, the only thing we're, that's left is the, um, 
the one uh, audio diary, but I don't think we can get it until we are like we are after we uh, plug in the Lazarus Vector. Yeah. So we found a little sister. Yep. Okay. I really should have filled up on my on uh, how many first aid kits I had, but whatever. We'll make do. There's a Vita chamber in here. Uh, bot shut down. Isn't there a gene upgrade thing in here? Here, yeah. All right, so let's switch out telekinesis for hypnotize Big Daddy. trying to save you from the cancer tumor that you've basically become. You prefer setting people on fire. 
Well, there's a bunch of uh, oil puddles on the floor, so I may as well take it. Other people here, can y'all hear us okay? Hello? Hello? I can definitely hear the sound of the game. Oh, I guess, it, okay, we're good. It's just Scaly Dragon that can't hear it. We're fine. Okay, cool. Cool.
shit was Ryan's house next. Thank God we saved the trees. Yes! At least the trees get to live. Everything else can die. The trees haven't done any day anyway. Yep. Probably get some more uh, first aid kits. Yeah, I, did, I, I just did that. Okay. <coughs> so we're good on that one. Yay! And I got my insects back. Mmm. <laughs> Less yay for you. Yes. Man, I can't wait till we get to Bio Bioshock Infinite and we get the Murder of Crows um, figure. What? <laughs> Nothing. And also, yes, apparently they are grading, so you were correct earlier. Alright, got that done. Let's get some more film because I'm running out. And, and then we jump into the Baptist Pier and go to... Hespestus is next? For fro <laughs> For Frolic. Ah. Why are you so resistant to the traditional methods of separating a man from his soul? You're not CIA, are you? You belong to Atlas. The one roach I can't seem to exterminate. Don't worry. I just need time to find the proper poison. And found the last audio diary. I believe Yay. in no God. No invisible man in the sky. But there is something more powerful than each of us. A combination of our efforts. A great chain of industry that unites us. But it is only when we struggle in our own interest that the chain pulls society in the right direction. The chain is too powerful and too mysterious for any government to guide. Any man who tells you different either has his hand in your pocket or a pistol to your neck. And on to Fort Frolic. We'll, um, meet the main character for that one first, and then we'll call it quits for the night. Okay. Also, you know how the Great Chain is a thing? Mm hmm So... How is the Great Chain not God? Section 8 as in Section 8 housing? Section 8 as in, um, he's crazy. Uh, you know how, uh, you may not know, but in the, uh, the army at the time, if you got a Section 8, you were just considered unfit for, you were considered mentally unfit for, uh, military service. Ah.
saw something. Alright, bot shutdown is there. Can't get in that. Okay. Swap to anti personnel rounds. Alright, we're good. Ryan. Da, 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 da. Time what? You could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sandler Cohen. so long for something tasty to come to this little burg, but all that pass are yokels and rubes. Where are my manners? Come in! Come in! Sander Cohen awaits you at the Fleet Hall. Malt vinegar? Welcome to Fort Frolic. And we'll stop there for tonight. Oh, no need to thank me for jamming the I am not prepared. Wars, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes. The artist knows there is richer earth to till. For example, I test you, little moth, but for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some, some 
burn like a moth at the flame. Come now into my home. This is gonna hurt, guys. All right, so we're stopping here for a night. We'll go through Fort Frolic when we when we get back because we're gonna have a lot to say about Fort Frolic. Oh God, we're gonna have a lot to say about Fort Frolic. I am preparing to um, not die per se, Scream but possibly out. explode. Yes. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you in a couple weeks, guys. Good night. All right. <laughs>